Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Check it out, man. Directly from the Twitter of Mike Wong, uh, he explains what I like to refer to as the sharpshooting demigods, pure sharpshooter demigods that, that we have been seeing. You guys might not have seen them because you guys might not play Pro-Am. I play Pro-Am, and since that update that went out the other day, like my dog Harlem, he could not make a layup in Pro-Am. Let me show you guys what he's doing now. He literally was like, yo, sharpshooter, and that's it. He comes down the floor right here, catches the ball in the corner, and just goes straight to the rack on three people. Three people, I might add. Look, check this out. Check this out. Can your sharpshooter do this? Can yours do this? Look at that speed boost. Oh my God. Did you see the speed boost? Check it out. Meow, the speed boost. There's a person under the rim right now and two people trailing him. Normally, this is lunch meat for anybody trailing, right? And uh, nope, he just goes straight up. That's a contact dunk animation too. I don't know if y'all noticed that or not. Four people under the rim. Boom! And then sits on my man's head. So I know somebody's going to be like, eh, eh, my sharpshooter does that all the time. My sharpshooter does. That's cool. That's cool. This slasher right here. Rack! Look at I mean, just put anonymous directly in the rim. Go baseline. Rack! It is what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were laughing at anonymous for a little bit. And then on the retaliation play, on the retaliation play. Oh, yeah, that's me throwing the ball off the glass right there. But on the retaliation play, Anonymous comes down court. Here we go. We can't we can't get that. So we make him miss. Anonymous comes down. Hold on. Wait, wait, is, this the, is this the clip? Is this that clip? No, nah, this ain't that clip. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, we have a clip of Anonymous straight blowing. Straight blowing a layup. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is it. This is the clip. We got to get the clip. Okay. So they had, a, they had a turnover and anonymous. There we go. Here we go. Right here. This is normally put him in the rim and just straight dunk on this guy. Watch this. Nope. Lays it up. For some reason, he don't posterize the guard after he got posterized the guard, by the guard. And uh, he missed it. And as you can see right there, assist game is out of the game. So we knew that something was wrong you know, with the game. Now, here we get, uh, like I said, here we go. Narrow down the, narrow down why Pro-Am feels uh, different. Fewer greens, lower shot percentages. I haven't noticed those. Me and Harlem been hitting at the same rate. So if you're shooting bad, I mean, it might be a jump shot. It might just be you. I, I, I don't know. One thing is just because, just because it doesn't impact me doesn't mean it's not a problem. So I'll tell you that right now. So I'm not having the problem, but that doesn't mean other people aren't. So uh, maybe you maybe you went with somebody's jump shot that they told you to use and then they cut it in half and that's why that's why you're performing like trash right now. After the after the last patch, and uh, we're working on a fix, it will be in the next update ASAP. Now we got this this information that nobody really cares about about the D'Angelo Russell. Like I can't use that base anyway. That base is trash to, to me. I'm talking about to me because I, I like a base with some lift and you get the ball out of your hand quickly. You can't do that with this jump shot. So um, it's irrelevant to me, but. I mean, they gave us they gave him some information on what they noticed, and then Mike's like, "Yeah, uh, Mike Wong said I, I don't know where the hell you got this information from, and I really don't care, and it has no bearing on what we're talking about. So it is what it is." And then um, the only other thing that Mike Wong said that is really, really, um, really interesting is he says, "Yes, Pro Am is currently on the wrong slider set. It should be fixed before the weekend." likely by tomorrow morning's update. So he's saying that it's on the wrong slider set and then somebody asks if there different slider sets for different stuff. And of course he says, yes, yeah, so you got different slider sets for anti up. You got different slider sets of um, for Pro-Am. You got different slider sets for part. No, we knew this. This is information that everybody knew. But the fact that he actually admitted that Pro-Am is on the wrong slider set right now Definitely explain some of the stuff that I've been seeing while Harlem is just going to the rim at will. I mean, we got, I have so many clips of him just doing what he wanted to in the, in, in Pro-Am. And I'm just like, dog, you ain't supposed to be doing that. Yesterday you couldn't, like, sharpshooters literally couldn't make a layup if there was more than one person down there in Pro-Am. And now he's dunking on, dunking when two or three people are down there, taking off to the point where he's actually surprised when it's not happening for him. And I'm just like, hey, I'm with you, dog, because, I mean, I expect him to go in there and make everyone now, too. Like, a lot of people don't understand what what people are talking about because 
if you are a bad player and they change something, you're not going to really notice it and you're not going to really be able to exploit it immediately. When you're a good player, like Harlem is, he just uses it to the extreme. Like, he noticed it immediately, and he just was, I mean, just used it to the extreme and used it to his advantage. I mean, I liked it when it was happening for us because he's on our team, but at the same time, I did not like it when it was against us because <laughs> people were doing it to us and they were pu pu punching on Anonymous and stuff like that. But, hey, it is what it is. At least we have some clarification on why that happens. Some people are like, well, I mean, I'm playing Park and this and that. I'm like, dog, it was happening in pro -air. I don't care what happens in Park, man. Honestly, I really don't care what happened in Park. I just play Park for fun. I'm going to start playing. Woo! Uh, I'm, I'm just going to start playing for fun with, with viewers and subs and stuff like that. I really could care less about what happens in Park or whatever. My focus is now Pro-Am. And because I've been playing so much Pro-Am, uh, you know, lately, seeing that type of stuff happen in Pro-Am, I'm like, that stuff never flies in Pro-Am. But, you know, it is what it is. So we know the reason why Pro-Am is playing kind of weird and why people are getting dunked on and all that. They might have them on the rookie sliders. Who knows? Anyway, on to today's other part of today's video. We're talking about piggybacking off of what Man Man Groundhog was talking about, how this game is a pure, a pure, pure pure advertisement i dead i dead in real life would not have known about those jordans if they weren't up there and we know that this thing is paid advertisement more than ever now because check it out those ads are gone that's paid advertisement normally in 2k when they put something up there it just it's, it's just up there you can you can know that they actually sold this game as this is a neighborhood. This is how many people are gonna be playing. This is how much we're gonna charge you per advertisement. They are actually paying for ad time because those Jordans was up there for like, what, two days? Maybe one day and a half or something like that. They're gone now. So that automatically lets you know that they are paying for ad time. Like like in, in GTA, like, like Man Man was saying with the fake ads, those fake ads stay there. Or like on Madden when they used to be like uh, advertising. When the first time I seen something like this was in Madden, uh, Madden Next Gen. And it was uh, like Mr. Woodcock or whatever. But um, but now, and I was like, yo, they changed the ad up there? But uh, this is the thing. That Michael Jordan sneaker ad is gone. And all I do is play this game and work and then take care of my family, right? And I don't even watch too much TV. And I never saw the Jordan, Jordan sneaker commercial on TV. But... I saw them up there, and they really made me want those shoes, and I don't even buy joints. I was like, dang, them joints, them joints pretty tough, man. But anyway, so we know that that's paid advertisement, and that it's not even just paid advertisement, it's rotating paid advertisement, meaning they're selling this thing like the Super Bowl, man. They're making so much money off of us with just with just VC. So they charge us $60 for the game, but you probably pay for this game 10 times over just by you taking in the ads, just by just by ad impressions. You understand what I'm saying? So the ad impressions over the course of a year, let's say you put in 200 hours into the game or something like that. That's a crazy amount of ad impression, impressions because I bet you're getting an ad impression every time that ad comes up. Not when your player is facing it, but every time that ad comes up in the world that you're in. I guarantee you're getting an ad impression. And that is millions for 2K. So why are we paying $50 for VC that cost 40 last year? I don't get it, man, but I do get it. I don't get it, but at the same time, I do get it, and you should too. Like I said, man, we have to do something. I don't know what we can do because we, we, I'm going to keep playing the game because I enjoy the game of basketball. If everything in the game was right, nobody would have a problem with this type of stuff. But you are obviously getting you're working on a tryout mode for the nba that's gonna make y'all some money for the for the 2k e league and then you got you you're patching in ads and stuff like that like i just don't get why we can't get a quality game but i understand because it looks like your resources are diverted elsewhere to making sure that the game can continue to generate revenue in, in addition to the million cut scenes that you've had in the game that we can't skip. But anyway, man, like I said, I'm up out of here, man. Mike Wong finally spoke out about the speed boosting demigod um pure sharps in in uh in, in 2K in the in the pro air. And that's why I've been seeing them more and more. And you can't block their shots unless you time it perfectly. And I have the method. It may it literally made me go back and devise a method to block shots because I couldn't get block shots without fouling people in Pro Am. Oh now I'm hanging everything. Now I wish I could see some of my screenshots 
uh, from Pro Am, you know, the last couple of days. But if you want to see me play Pro Am, uh, that's on. That's 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 the last video. I have like a two or three hour video. I literally did not miss in that two to three hour span. And they talking about they can't get greens. I just went back to my original jumper. But if you guys need a jump shot, let me know down in the comments. Let's get this video to 300 likes and I'll get you guys a new jump shot by this evening. That'll be the 10 o'clock video. As, if, as you notice, I'm trying to put out a video 10 a.m., 3 p.m., 10 p.m. That's how we trying to do it, man. So make sure you support all the videos and we'll have a basketball video guy up for you guys later. I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! 360 out this mug. Mike Wong, you really think, hey, that's really the, I'm not making fun of Mike Wong. That's the real pronunciation of his name. It's the Mandarin pronunciation of his name. Everybody that says Wang, you're saying it, you're, you're doing it wrong. It really is Wong. It's not wrong, it's Wong. I mean, all you gotta do is look it up, man. Y'all Google everything else. Y'all wanna think, think I'm making fun of that, man. I'm not making fun of him. That's probably why he don't like me, because he think I think I'm making fun of him. I know I'm not making fun of him. I'm telling you that his last name is Wong. That's how you pronounce it. Damn Americans. <laughs> I'm gone, man. Peace.